I just feel so much happier. It's changed my life completely. People with mental health problems aren't written off. It's made a massive difference to my life. It gets your self-esteem together and your self-respect what everybody needs. Yeah, it saved my life. Well, it just makes me feel better in myself. We don't know how long we've got in life, but it's about enabling everybody to have every day as a whole complete day. Doing something that they choose to do, that they want to do, that they can manage their conditions in a whole range of wonderful ways. It's about seeing people having fun, enjoying themselves, taking part, and, and it's, this is what it's all about, isn't it? The Trust mission is to enable people with a health problem or a learning disability to live life to the full. That is a very broad-ranging mission which runs from providing effective care and treatment to people to actually the more preventative end or in other cases to end of life care or a very high secure mental health care. So we have a very diverse range of services supporting a very diverse range of population. We run services from Calderdale, so Halifax, Kirklees, Wakefield, Pontefract, uh, Castleford and Barnsley, a large geographical spread in terms of our population. In any given month, we're probably seeing about 56,000 people across the Trust. Of that number, approximately 45,000 will be seen in community settings in clinics uh, or in their own home, for example. There's only one place where service users fit into our mission and that's absolutely in the centre of all of our activities. So be that designing new buildings, be it looking at new services, be it looking at changing our activities. Service users are first and foremost in our activities and in all of our thinking. Right, we're going to see a lady now because it's her wish to be at home in the last few days of her life. Our staff do an excellent job, often in very, very challenged circumstances, working with actually some of, some of the most vulnerable people in our communities. Partnership working is central to what we do. When we became authorised as a foundation trust, we took a deliberate decision to change our name to include the word partnership. And partnerships could exist at many levels. All are really important because it feels in a very challenged climate that we can't do this on our own. Our members always make us think that we are here to deliver services to the people of South West Yorkshire and having a membership base which is substantial in number and in terms of their activity helps us do that. It also keeps us on our toes. In many respects, if we have £230 million worth of the public purse, then I think we've got to challenge ourselves to say, are we spending every pound of that in the best way possible? We have to listen to what particularly our users and carers are telling us, what our staff are telling us, how we can involve our staff at the front line in improving services. I absolutely love my work here. It's the reason I get out of bed in the morning. I love doing my job. It's a lovely feeling when you meet someone for the first time and they're really lonely and they can be quite depressed. And then when you see maybe a few weeks, a few months down the line and they're in a group. It's why I come to work. It's just great to see people start to shine. I feel good, you know, I've got something to do when you're up in the morning, you come out and you tend to the gardens and it's a good feeling. It gives you a reason to want to go on. I'm living life more to the full because I can take control of my condition rather than let my condition control me. I've got something to look forward to now in life. I've stopped feeling lost. I am a person again. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful service. 